Hey guys, uh, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to talk about how to lose weight at work. Okay, for those of y'all who are working in an office building with uh, a number of co-workers that are overweight or obese, then there's a couple of things that you need to know in order to lose weight while you're working in these locations with these people who eat bad especially with uh, when you have a boss that brings in pizza and stuff like that. So I'm going to give you some ideas. The first thing that you want to do is, if you're working in an office, is you have got to eat breakfast before you go to work. If you are not eating breakfast, you're an idiot. You must eat breakfast before you go to work. By eating breakfast in the morning, what you're going to do is that you're going to fuel your body with the energy that it needs to get to lunch. <laughs> We're talking just survival mode here. So you're going to fuel your body in the morning with oatmeal, yogurt, mueslix. It can be a protein shake. It can be anything. But you've got to eat breakfast. If you don't eat breakfast, you rob your body of the energy that it needs. And basically what happens is you zap what's left of your energy and then you have to wait until lunchtime to eat if your boss allows you to. So eat breakfast. The key is uh, that if you don't eat breakfast you're going to starve your body of the needed calories to give you the energy. Okay? So rule number one, eat breakfast. Rule number two, if you don't eat breakfast and you're running late for work, make a protein shake. It takes no more than 60 seconds. A banana, uh, oatmeal, uh, peanut butter, strawberries, milk, water, oranges, apples. Throw all that crap into a blender and blend it. Throw it into a protein cup and when you're running out the door, take it with you. That's breakfast. Throw in a scoop of protein powder. Throw in a little bit of sugar if you need to, to, um, uh, to give a little bit of sweetness. So if, you, if you're running late, eat or, or make a protein shake and then take that with you and then you can sip that on your way to work, okay? Rule number three, pass on the office pizza. If you work at a place where all of the workers eat, usually this is going to happen where they eat pizza once or twice a week, you need to pass on that. They order from Domino's, they order from uh, Papa John's or these local pizza parlors and it's just a grease filled piece of shit. You need to pass on that. If it's an office birthday party and they serve cake, take a piece of cake, take a slice of it, eat one or two bites and then toss it. The more you give in to these people in the office, the fatter you're going to become. There's an old saying that if you're around if, if you're around the lame long enough, you will know how, you'll learn how to limp. And that's very, very true. If you're in an office and everybody else is obese, and I've worked in an office before, I've been an office manager, and everybody is obese, in time, they're going to drag you into their club. And that's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to make you fat, especially if they know you work out, you eat right, you bring in protein shakes, and you're eating apples and fruit and nuts and almonds and stuff like that. They don't like that. The obese live for food. It's the last socially acceptable addiction. Food to them is life especially for a lot of the women in these offices because I've worked around them I know exactly the way they are you have got to be wary of the pizza of the birthday cake of the cake the candy the chocolate and everything else that's brought in so pass on the pizza okay rule number four you're gonna have to bring your own food to work if you end up eating with the obese you're gonna become like the obese it's just as plain and simple as I can put it. If you've got, o if you've got o obese office workers where you work, most likely these people are going to try to drag you into their eating group. They're going to have drawers at their desk full of Milky Way, Butterfingers, and Snickers bars. They're going to have, they're going to drink Cokes hot. They're going to have crap at their desk. 
And most likely, the boss is going to allow that. So you need to bring your own food to work. You need to keep, keep, keep a stash of nuts, almonds, and pecans in your, in your drawer at work. You need to make your own protein shakes at home and bring it with you. You need to eat breakfast in the morning. And you need to stay away when, when they bring an office pizza or birthday cake or when they go out to eat and they eat it. McDonald's, Burger King, and Taco Bell. You need to stay away from that. If you want to become fat, eat with the people at your work, and you will become fat, because that's why they're fat. They don't work out, they eat shit, they don't drink water, and most of them are single. So if you want to become like them, eat like them. But if you want to get ripped, and you want to get in shape, and you want to live a healthy lifestyle, then you need to adopt a healthy lifestyle. Eat breakfast. Make your own protein shake. Order a salad when the office goes out to eat at a Mexican restaurant. Mexican restaurants make salads. You can, you can order a salad and lead a healthy lifestyle. Do not allow the fat office workers to lead you down the primrose path to obesity. They will do it. I was an office manager for a large property firm. Five of my employees were overweight. I ended up eating like they did. Come on, Mike, you can come with us. Come on, just one time. McDonald's, you haven't had McDonald's in a long time. You need to stay away from that. And if you're going to lose body fat, burn, burn fat and gain muscle, you had better stay away from them. Bring your own food and eat healthy.